Ladies and gentlemen, the East Coast is sinking and the rising sea level is part of it. But, you know, look, it was always these predictions out there about the coastal states sinking, you know, and the rising sea level. We saw those glaciers fall apart and melt. Well, let's get into it, y'all. As sea levels rise, the East Coast is also sinking. Mm -mm -mm. So they're saying scientists already know that the East Coast of the United States could see around a foot of sea level rise by 2050, which will be catastrophic on its own. But that's just the beginning to a thorough measure of a hidden vulnerability that will make matters far worse. The coastline is also sinking. It's a phenomena known as subsidence. And it's poised to make a rise, uh, you know, the rising sea level all more dangerous, both for people and coastal ecosystems. The new research published in the Journal of Nature Communications find that the Atlantic coast, home to more than a third of the U.S. population, is dropping by several millimeters per year. In Charleston, South Carolina, and the Chesapeake Bay, it's up to five millimeters. And they're talking about per year. In some areas of Delaware, it is twice as much. Five millimeters of annual sea level rise along a stretch of coastal line, plus five millimeters of subsidence there, is effectively 10 millimeters of relative sea level rise. Atlantic coastal cities are already suffering from persistent flooding. That is true. I'm not going to lie to you. That is true. I notice even in my state, certain areas that are more prone to flood, they get hit even harder every single year. And it seems like the rainfall just gets heavier and heavier every single year too. I do notice that. So, you know, where I am, it doesn't flood quite as much, but there are neighboring towns I'm around where it does flood badly. It does. All right. So yet a high resolution subsidence data like this isn't yet taken into account for coastal hazardous assessments. What we want to do here is to bring awareness about this missing component that's based on our analysis actually makes the near future vulnerability a lot worse and what you would expect from sea level rise alone. Primary cause of dramatic land subsidence is the over extraction of groundwater from it which makes the terrain collapse like an empty water bottle. In San Jose, California, this has lowered the elevation as much as 12 feet. Yeah, I mean, I saw on the map, you know, of the coastal states, California is one of those states that's sinking. So, um, and that's far as the West Coast. So the combination of sea level rise and subsidence could inundate up to 165 square miles of the Bay Area coastline by 2021. Extracting oil also causes subsidence, a particular acute problem. Yes, Houston was actually on the map too when it shows, you know, the parts that are sinking. Yeah, Texas is there too. So, but I'm not surprised. I mean, again, it's a coastal state. 
so um, let me get back. So extracting oil also causes subsidence, a particular acute problem in the Houston Galveston area and landfill and sediments along coastlines can also settle over time. While scientists have been aware of the U.S. coastline sinking, they haven't had much data to show local differences in rates. Subsidence varies significantly, even over short distances, given variations that the underlying geology and nearby human activity. Okay. So, you know, it also goes into um, Virginia. Yeah, I mean, these are all the coastal states. Um, how do you bounce back when it's all this rising sea level going on? I don't know. How do you bounce back? I don't think you can. I don't think you can. You know? So uh, three millimeters a year seems like a really tiny number but they said actually if you add it up over time it's accumulative and it will you know add up over the years and could get worse the east coast is one of the fastest growing areas of the u.s in terms of population when you have more population, it means people will use more water and that will increase how fast the land is sinking. People are also already destroying the wetlands. Yes, that's true. I, even I know that. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And, you know, another problem is they build in areas that they should not be living in. You know, even the natives, when they were here, and I was reading this a long time ago, this was before I was even an adult, how there were certain areas in the country where the natives would not build in because it was just so many natural disasters. These folks, them folks, think they can build anywhere. And if you notice, when the natural disasters hit, just take a look at the faces that get hit the worst because they build in areas that really technically should not be lived in. But, you know, they're trying to do all that remote living and not really studying. And I think these areas that have these natural disasters probably have been like that for probably thousands of years. But, you know, there are certain areas that I guess looks beautiful to them and they want to live there, but every area is not meant to live in. You know, um, here in my state, and I'm sure this was in other states, there were some people literally because of flooding and mudslides and everything, they were getting a new home like every two, three years until the government finally said, no, you're going to have to move out of those areas. If you continue to live there, we're not going to rebuild anything. And they stopped rebuilding those homes for them, you know, and some of them, they, they love getting a new home every so many years. Okay. Okay. So it goes on to say humans only make matters worse by damming rivers, thus preventing sediment from flowing to the coast, which would normally add elevation to delta wetlands. Instead, these ecosystems continue subsiding. So they're pretty much saying, you know, a lot of this is man's fault for, you know, messing around with nature or changing things that should not be changed. So, yeah, I mean, these stories are interesting. I live on the East Coast. So, yeah, you know, I will pay attention to these kind of stories, but I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. And I would imagine eventually it's going to be all of the coast, the West Coast, more of the West Coast, and the East Coast, and even the Southern parts of, you know, people that are in the Gulf area. It's going to be them too. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video.
peace family.